Hello and welcome. This is today in the news. First, the highlights. At least 387 persons killed in two years in Kaduna State. Court declares federal government deductions from state government unconstitutional. Babai Desha's lawyers decide not to challenge evidence of legal state government in court. Troops intercept 105 armed thugs at Itawure F1 Laie Junction in Ekiti State. Kaduna State Government official says at least 387 persons have been killed within the last two years in Zangal, Kataf and Kara local government areas. This is due to communal conflicts between the Akia Pausa and Fulani and Irigwe communities living there. In the wake of renewed conflicts and killings in the region, Governor Nasi Erufai on Wednesday sent a delegation led by the State Internal Security Commissioner Samuel Laruan to meet with stakeholders from aggrieved communities in order to resolve their differences. He appealed to them to sheath their swords and recourse to the law. Justice Ahmed Mohammed of the Federal High Court has declared as unconstitutional and unlawful deductions made by the federal government from the Federation account for the funding of the Nigeria Police Trust Fund scheme. Justice Mohammed made the pronouncement in a judgment on a suit filed by the River State Government against the Attorney General, Revenue Mobilization, Allocation and Fiscal Commission, and the Federal Ministry of Finance. The River State Government, through its Attorney General, had approached the court wherein it sought an order stopping the deduction of funds from the Federation account for the funding of the Nigeria Police Trust Fund scheme. <laughs> Lawyers for Nollywood actor Olari Waju James, also known as Babai Jesha, have decided not to challenge the evidence of the Lagos State Government against him through a no-case submission, as earlier indicated in his alleged child defilement trial. Defense counsel Dotun Ajulo told Justice Oluwato in Taiwo of the Lagos State Sexual and Special Offenses Court sitting in Ikeja that after a review of the case, the defendant will now open his defense instead. The Lagos State government closed its case in December after calling six witnesses, including the complainant Damlola Dekoya, alias Princess, the 14-year-old survivor and a child expert. Babai Jesha faces a six-count charge bordering on indecent treatment of a child, sexual assault, attempted sexual assault by penetration, and sexual assault by penetration. He pleaded not guilty to the charges and has been on bail since June 2021. About 105 armed thugs coming to Ekiti from Ibadan were arrested by soldiers at 3 a.m. today at the Itawure Fort Junction. There were reports that their coming to Ekiti is not unconnected to the PDP primary election to prevent emergence of a candidate for the 2022 governorship election. They came in about 15 vehicles and are being held by soldiers. The police and the military PPRO have confirmed that they have been apprehended and are being taken to Accra. <laughs> 